So I decided to record. You can't tell in my side small mirror there, there's a Corvette Z06. You can't tell, but it is a Z06. It's got red brake calipers. Looks pretty cool. Doesn't have drilled or slotted brakes, but that's all right. But those things, if I had to guess, were like 420, no, probably 450 horsepower at the time that that came out. And that's a bit more than I have. <laughs> I'm sure it would be able to beat me in a race, but I'd probably give it a good run for its money. Cause I'm proud of my settings. Uh, this guy's turning right, so I'm gonna go. I can't stand it. You're gonna need, you're gonna need a dotted out of zone, yes you are. Please don't make me cry. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't say goodbye. Maybe I should turn it up a notch. <laughs> Feeling kind of warm. It's a little humid out. This place is humid. Ohio. Not as bad as Florida, but it's up there. My horsey's face. Poor horsey. It's got all this crusty salt dirt on it from my arm. <laughs> Took a shower today. It was a wet one as far as humidity. So we're still at well a little bit above quarter tank and I still got a little bit of headache oh yeah drinking it will help <laughs> right all drinking helps is my frame of mind in my opinion fun about the car. And then you go, oh it's still 19.3, that's cool. And then you stop just enough behind people so you give them some room. That sounds great, feels great. I think I saw a Honda something or other behind me trying to gain gain distance. Didn't look bad though, it's like silver and black, look kind of sporty. Could have been a Civic. I mean the new Civics look pretty nice. I don't know, it's probably an Accord though. Like a Accord Sport or something, who knows? They're pretty speedy cars. I've seen some Accords beating Mustangs on videos like, hey look my Accord beat a Mustang, huh? But I'm a bit faster than their standard V6 Mustang. Just a little bit. Oh, 
we'll keep it toned down here. Sometimes it's hard to like when you're a fast car, you know, you wanna get ahead and look cool and stuff. So sometimes when you're like such a short distance to your exit, you're like, hmm, should I? Should I hit the gas? I got one guy to the side, yeah. I think I'll get right behind him. Yeah, that works. Oh. I didn't know I had my blinker on that long. OMG OSU. Oh my god. Ohio State University. <laughs> That's an interesting license plate. Ooh, there's a nice looking black Challenger. So I got a, basically a quarter tank, so that's enough to get me to working back tomorrow. And I'll gas up. Gas up at old UDF, United Dairy Farmers, out here in Ohio, Westerville. You know what I thought of Ohio? I thought of, like, you know, country and not a lot of population. I mean, yeah, we're near Columbus and stuff, but geez, it's crazy out here. Too many people. They're in the country, you know. That's what I'm saying. I was hoping for something slower paced. It's easier to find jobs, I guess. But last time I was off for two weeks, used a full week to look for a job and didn't find shit. I mean, anything. <laughs> Although I've been hopping around a lot, and then I talked to Nationwide, and it, after I told them like all these places I've been moving to and different jobs, are like, uh, e never mind. <laughs> they sounded interested until I told them all the different places I've worked and stuff, and which is understandable. The mail's being delivered today, huh? Today's Memorial Day. Oh well. My life, my life is choking. Needs emergency mail. So, yep, made it home at 4 just like I thought. 358. According to my fast watch, 4. By the time I park it'll be 4. I know how to call it, you know what I'm saying? So, these people and they're backing up to parking spots. Because, <laughs> so. Like, why can't people just park normal? Alright, that's it. Thank you.